that's me, Ray Bro. We're back here with SpongeBob movie, square movie, square pants game. Boom. <laughs> SpongeBob Square Pants movie game. <laughs> Hi, SpongeBob. Hey, there you go. Now, so we're, we're going to be doing some of the. Oh, I want to do some of the Draven challenges first. Because I said we probably should do last time. And there are only three, and that won't take us too long. And we should be able to get a, at least a bit of the way into 3,000 miles to Shell City as well. And I'm so miffed because last time I recorded... That, so I, I'm uh, obviously in a new place uh, just temporarily for a few weeks, as you can see here. And so I was I was uh, posting episode one of this playthrough. Like, I was, I was like, rendering it and proof-watching it, like, as I was uh, packing up, basically. Uh, which is how I ended up screwing up do the damn... Hang on, let me shut up. I'm challenged all the time. I'm challenged all the time. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Oh, Patrick. You'll have a set time limit to get to the end of the road. If you finish in less than the set time, I'll reward you. Well, thank you for that. That is how a time challenge works, isn't it? Uh, I'll just try and do it while talking. That's probably a good idea. Oh, I'm just, should we go now? I kind of thought it was going to be a little more of a little wind-up. Anyway, that means no stopping to get more manliness points as much as I would love to, and I probably should have used a nitrous to get across that sand Mario Kart styles, but whatever. It form, it, the first one's going to be pretty easy anyway. Uh, so the crux of that means that I'm, uh, I, I, I'm not recording on my usual... Mo well, there are a few things that are different. Uh, this, the whole setup is different. Um, but the, the thing I want to point out... Um, I got that one I missed last time. Is that... Uh, I'm not recording on my usual monitor. I'm recording uh, on just like a normal ass television. Sorry, pedestrian who was in a car. It's not a pedestrian. <laughs> oh, I missed this one last time. Can I get it this time? Yeah. And that means I don't have, he I can't put headphones. This TV doesn't have a headphone jack of any description. So it would be uh, not wise to try and plug headphones into it, I think. Uh, so I didn't. Uh, this probably was a waste of time using all those nitruses just to get across the, the grass. Uh, so I've just, it's literally just playing out of the speakers, so I'm sorry if you can hear it in the background of my microphone, the game's audio. It also means that I'm, I'm, I'm playing it a little quieter, so that I can have it, so that you don't hear, like, an echo. But that means I'm probably gonna be, uh, not hearing what the characters are saying and stuff in, from moment to moment gameplay, so sorry if I'm not reacting to that as much. And the reason I s bring that up, and, and the reason I was subtitling it all in the first episode, and probably will be for this one, is because it's such an important part of this game. The, the identity of the characters, given that, I mean, it's Spongebob, for God's sakes. <laughs> the characters are everything. Characters in writing, that is. I can't believe that that truck was just driving away from here after having left the boxes on the, the freeway or whatever. How dare you, honestly. Bow, 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 ba -dow, bow. Probably could even bring the game's sound a lot up a little bit. Although to some degree, though, the, the, the game's sound mixing just is a little uh, shoddy. I, I think I, I was saying before that like the graphics weren't very good. The, the, most of this game's issues, I feel, are with presentation, which is a weird thing for me because usually I'm... I'm like presentation who, I don't care, I just, as long as the, this story and or vibes and or world and or gameplay are good. As long as it's got, it's got some artistic and, and or, you know, interactive quality I can reap from it, then I'm like, whatever, it's fine with me, but... I think maybe it's, it's a testament to how <laughs> much fun I have with the rest of this game that I'm I'm critical of the, the presentation and stuff. Well, like, with the exception of the music, which is perfect and... Needs no criticisms whatsoever. Do you know what? Actually, I was saying that the, the normal time trial is going to be pretty easy, and the, the macho one that you get later is going to be pretty... Uh, is therefore likely to just be of a normal challenge level, but we took three minutes of our four to do this one, so I'm probably going to have a rough go of the, the macho time challenge. Two minutes, 56, anyway. We win! <laughs> How's that, Mindy? You've won the time challenge. Thank you. Here's your reward. Is it a Goofy Goober token? The best reward... Please never give me anything but. Now I have a real challenge for you. You do? Mindy, we're ready. What do we do? Rings will appear on the road. Go through each ring before it disappears. If you get through them all, I'll reward you. I don't see what this has to do has to do with getting the crown and saving the town of Mr. Krabs, but sure, let's do it. I'll drive through some rings. So the ring challenge is basically like another sort of time challenge, except um, it's like hurdles. You have to get to each hurdle before time runs out for that particular hurdle. So in some ways it's more stressful because you can't do really well up front to save yourself from a mistake later. It's just like the the mistake the mistakes will will mount. Well, well they won't mount. They'll just all of a sudden happen when you miss one ring and die. Da da down. Ba da bam 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 do. Do. Not miss the rings they want you to take a very specific path. The real trick with this is sometimes seeing where the ring goes, because it's not always, like, immediately obvious. You have to kind of look around for a minute. 
and you can't turn the camera except by driving the car. You can't like look up to the right otherwise, so you have to just turn if you want to be able to see something else. Now the rings do start blinking red a, a minute before they disappear, so you have you have a little bit of warning, but not much. It, it starts blinking when there are like two seconds left on it. <laughs> These, like, ring chime noises are burned into my memory from my youth. Doom. Ding. <laughs> Wrong one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me in. Oh, geez, that was close. I was completely full of that. If I had gone through the wrong, uh, the wrong tunnel, I probably, uh, I'm, I reckon I would not have had time to go back and get, get it. We haven't died at all in this game yet, so let's not have our first be on- and prob probably our first is gonna be on this Macho Time Challenge. That was- that's probably gonna be like 2 minutes 30 that they wanna do us- that they want us to do it. We were able to make it under 3 minutes, but I was also kinda messing around then, so... Hopefully if I take a slightly smarter route on this, uh, Uber Time Challenge, we'll- we'll be alright. <laughs> Goober Time Challenge, more like. <laughs> it broke. Are they gonna want us to go through the tunnel? They are not! I was really convinced they were for a minute, but I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't, considering they had us go through last time. Spice it up a little, why don't we? Live life on the wild side. Sorry, uh, the controller is rumbly, and I have my hands on the same surface as my microphone at the moment, so I, I, I hope you can't hear that too much. Like, I hope it isn't, like, in your ears <laughs> whenever the, anything is- a building is falling over. I'm not really using my nitrous, but we don't really have to for this there. Oh, God! I wasn't even realizing that there was a wrecking ball there. It's fine. It's fine. Just a- just a dent- just a flesh wound. Just a dent in the burger, it's fine. There's no bite just yet. When you get really low on uh, d d vehicle durability, there's a massive bite out of here. Well, not massive. I mean, it's massive because the burger is massive. There's a bite out of it anyway. And though you can upgrade your, your uh, SpongeBob and Patrick's health, I don't think you can upgrade the wagon's health. Um, which is usually, usually you're not dying by, uh, by durability. You're usually fi failing like time conditions or Perhaps even falling off of something, but not this time, not just yet. You've beaten the ring challenge. It better be a good for Goober token coming my way. Yeah, yeah. I don't want your stinking money or admiration. I just want tokens. Since you beat the other Normal noise to make SpongeBob. So I have a tough one for you. Well, I wouldn't say they were easy. Easy? Uh, yeah, it was easy. Oh, very easy. All right. I'll give you a hard time to beat. Get to the end of the road in less than a set time. Why are we just, like, betting, uh, like, and, like, <laughs> daring each other to do stuff? Is there not, like, a very pressing c calamity befalling us presently? You can just hold the accelerate button. Oh, it's three minutes. Okay, so we were able to do it in 2.56 before. So as long as I don't do worse than before, we'll be all right. And I scarcely think I could do worse than before. That was terrible. So um... So I'm gonna boost across the sand here and swing into the other nitrous. Did I miss it? Really? I swear I went right through it. Or is it just taking a long time to catch up to me? Well, that's not a botch just yet. We could still make it, probably. If I just make a few less, uh, a few fewer mistakes. <sighs> Hard turn. There isn't any kind of drift button, I don't think. Um, I think it's faster to go through the tunnel. Yeah, you just kind of go straight, right? And rather than curving all around. I'm gonna boost off of here to get some air time with the this, this still high speed. Um... I wonder if which way is faster here. Probably the right side, right? Gets us to the bridge a little quicker. And probably not going through the grass is a good idea. I'm gonna boost into this and then just kind of swing around back onto the path. But I'm still in the grass, so I'm... Oh, lost a bit of time there. That wasn't good. It's fine. It wasn't horrible. I don't know why the camera's jerking around like that. I'm not gonna go for any boxes here. I'm just getting my air time. I got a few boxes anyway. Bubble smash! Oh, when did we level up? I didn't notice that. Ah, probably because we've got the volume a little low. You know, that hit us, but they didn't actually really slow us down. <laughs> just what we needed, indeed. Actually, is this a bad time to do the upgrade? Hmm. Well, I won't upgrade the bash just yet because- Well, I won't upgrade either of them just yet. Because we haven't even seen the base- the base bash, so... You wouldn't even understand the glory of the bash's upgrade. If I showed you the- if it didn't show you the, the base one first. Okay. Actually, I'm feeling reasonably confident here, which is usually not a good sign when it comes to me, but... I'm a little more focused here this time. Uh, should we go through the tunnel? I think it was a little- the tunnel's a little faster than the rest of it. Uh, uh, ah, this one is anyway. That would have been good to save a nitrous boost for going over that. Would have carried us a little farther, but whatever. 
just about there, aren't we? It's just like one more fountain and then the, the scooper digging the thing out of the- oh, just, oh, I stopped to try and get the nitrous and then didn't even get it. That was a massive waste. We might actually screw this up. And by we, I mean me, of course. Ow. It's fine. Just damage. It's just damage. We can still get through. Okay, so it's like one more turn around here and then another fountain and then the bridge goes up, I think. Just gonna try and get some time now. I should have waited for a ramp. I don't, are there any more ramps after this? I can't remember. Or we're gonna be cutting it close. We're gonna be cutting it real close. Some of the later ones get really freaking hard. I'm not gonna go for the nitrous. I'm just gonna pray we make it here. Okay, we've got it. This is the last jump here. 20 seconds to do it. Okay, we, we did make a better time than the first one somehow. I, just, I feel like I made way more mistakes this time, but maybe I was just being more critical of myself, my performance. Whew, because I <laughs> knew what mistakes not to make. Very good. You did it. Thanks! Can I get a cheeseburger? Ah, oh, it's a Goofy Goober token. Who wants that? You can try and beat your best time on this road. We'll do it, Mindy. Nothing can distract us. No, that. guys, this is an awful idea. This is a massive waste of time. Immediately starts looking at stuff on the ground. Wheels on the paddy wagon go round and round. <laughs> Nothing can distract us. No. Ready, set, no. Look at that. Four across the board. Oh, that's right. The other thing I wanted to do is I forgot. I, I, I totally remembered where that other uh, treasure was. And to be fair to me, it's not obvious. You can't see it from where it's located initially. And there's no obvious reason that you should be able to do what you can do to get it, which you'll understand <laughs> in a second. That was a really confusing way I said that. I'm just gonna snag this last treasure, then we'll carry on our way um, into the desert where we have lost our vehicle and are stranded entirely. Do, 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 do. Pardon you, these ones give you like 30, ow. Yeah, they give you a heck of a lot, uh, with this early stage. Even though we've already leveled up and everything. The missing chest is, very conveniently, just hanging out right down here. Ooh, you get a 50 for breaking those spawners. So you can head in this supply, uh, room and just kind of look around and it's fun. And there's another supply room right around here, but the door is there, but you can just straight up knock it over. Which I completely forgot about, and there's a treasure inside. So, yay! For us. Let's have a look at what it is. I know, we'd be totally lost if we didn't. Ah, that's another film trailer. Who cares? 3,000 miles to tell today. Let's do this. For real this time. The other great thing about these games is how many, just how many references to episodes there are. Like, for instance, this uh, move of Spongebob's that we've just gotten. The bash move. Whoosh! <laughs> Ooh, it's such a satisfying noise it makes, too. Allows you to hit stuff right above you. Like so. Whoosh! And even though that really, that punchy noise is very, very satisfying, there's an upgrade that you can get for it that we pro I probably want to get soon. I'm kind of being indecisive about it because the upgraded melee has better range, better damage, and reflects projectiles, and it's very, very useful. Um... Now, what are you laughing at? I don't want mustard or ketchup for my car, okay? Because I don't have a car anymore, understand? You slimy, good-for-nothing... fish. Did I lose a train of thought a minute ago? I think I might have done. <laughs> anyway... I haven't decided just yet about whether which upgrade I want. Patrick, where'd you get a stick? <laughs> and why are you staring at that thing's butt? <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> hit it from hit it, hit it hit it from below is what you're telling me, Patrick. Got it. Brilliant idea. Don't know how he thought of that, but we could <laughs> What? So what you're saying is we didn't need this move at all. We wasted our time getting all those Goofy Goober tokens to get this bash move because we can just use a club to knock a spiky branch of something nearby into it. Right, I see how it is. That's fine. No, of course not. Get you, get ye over here. Yeah. Whoosh. Whoosh. There we go. Missed that. God, that was like 70. SpongeBob, you're exhibiting signs of toxic masculinity. <laughs> right, now these things here are like floating supply crates, uh, but all, they also allow you to get out too far to get an item. But, consider this. If I, I could probably break this one if I went like, huh, uh, No, I can't! Yeah, well. That was a bad way for our first death to go. <laughs> Normally these things only do one damage to you. Like so, but if you if you have enough airtime, the game sort of assumes that you've fallen from a very high place and made problems. Oh my god, I can't believe what I'm doing. Oh my! I'm dying so much. I was just trying to break this one. Ah, it's it's because I'm not used to not having the the upgraded melee range. I, I, you know, I better upgrade that one first. Karate spin. Let's do it. Yeah, steel gauntlets. That's the stuff. 
You'll get there, SpongeBob. I believe in you. I, mean, I don't know anything about martial arts, but I reckon you will. No, don't. Having that, uh, um, the, the better melee is just really helpful. Oh man, it's such a better range too. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, it takes out those things with the hammers in one hit. Damn, I can't believe that's when our first death happens. That's so stupid. Whoosh! God, I love that punch sound effect. I wish every video game had that sound effect. It's a sound effect that could happen when you hit an enemy. Yeah, without the bash upgrade, it does take a little longer to hit these things because you have to kind of chase them around and then hit them once, then follow them and hit them twice. It ain't too bad, though, and especially they're giving us lots of good XP. I don't remember you leveling up quite this fast. Maybe what I'm remembering, though, is how I was spending it all on health upgrades so I didn't get my melee upgrades quickly. Because you really want those. I'm glad it gives you the option, anyway. It's pretty cool. No! Don't! Wait, so is he genuinely just kind of, like, saying menacing things into the micro into a microphone? <laughs> oh, God! Well, damn it. <laughs> that wasn't great. He's just sort of saying menacing things into, a uh, into, you know, <laughs> radio towers, and that's just that. That's how he possesses everyone. There's not actually any mad science involved in these buckets. You know, I was saying that I was murdering them before, and that might be true, but also it's possible that I'm j I'm totally saving them, and they're just disappearing for no reason. Oh, that's weird. You know, I do remember this little alcove, but I, I forgot that it existed until just now. Isn't there a treasure in here? Is it a treasure? Oh, it is! <laughs> Delightful. What a oh, new thing. It's another cosmetic thing. New targeting hand. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. Uh, it might be a thing where you have to reload the level for it to activate. Uh, but we'll see next time there's anything that... Uh, there's a targeting thing over. Actually, I guess there isn't really much of that going on with SpongeBob. But anytime you do... Um, uh, like when it's pointing at the ice block that Patrick can... Lick onto. Ow! But I prefer, I prefer, I, I like the uh, the new targeting hand, it's pretty cool, so I think we should definitely uh, look at it. Oh, I didn't mean to break all those. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get up there and get that one now. Yes, I got it about the button, just give me a minute, I'm having a crisis because I broke the, my only way to get up to that blue one. Ah. That wasn't supposed to break those, those other two, but I was just trying to hit the enemy. Ah, shoot. Well, anyway. <laughs> Don't know what hitting this reactor thing will do, but... <laughs> I wouldn't do it if I didn't have to, Evil Radio Tower. Well, one wonders, A, how those things make xylophone noises, and B, how hitting that button did any of that, but... <laughs> We've discovered the ancient arts of destroying radio towers, so... I should not be complaining. Oh my god, thank god, is there hamburger over here, because... I was seriously dying. Oh man, these jellyfish... ...have bucket heads on them. I still feel it's wrong to hit an animal. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're, like, somewhat close to sentiency, the jellyfish in the show. But they're not quite sentient. They're, they're like, they're treated like giraffe virginable. So I feel, once we take down Plankton, the, the Bucketheads will surely all remotely turn off. You know, jostling a, a human isn't... Oh, I see how it is. You guys have no idea. How much I'm not gonna die here, okay? So don't give me that sass, and if you show the clips of me dying, I swear to Neptune! Ouch! Anyway, uh, I'll just push this over here. Ooh, there's a combat challenge over there! Oh no, that's not a combat challenge, that's an entirely different thing. Ooh, I almost died! I almost died. I almost died. Sorry, I feel like I keep losing my train of thought. Right, we needed bur- right, it feels bad hitting the jellyfish anyway. <laughs> End of that thought. So this is a very, very fun and normal challenge. The Spongeball Challenge. Are you ready, kids? Set? Go! I don't know if there's anything uh, worth explaining here. Much like the rest of the game, I feel as though this is entirely its own sort of literary form and does not really warrant... Well, it defies explanation, literally, really. I could try to explain. I could try to explain. But will I? No. It would not bring me joy to try and explain this. It would put me in a crisis. Oh, that was such a risky maneuver. Why would I ever pull it like that? Uh, Oh, I missed a manly. Oh, it, controlling as a ball. Oh, it's, it's, it's like monkey ball, but take the controls of monkey ball and then like make them sadistic as all hell. <laughs> That's right. I said make the controls of monkey ball sadistic. Well, I shouldn't say that. Monkey Ball does control well. It's just the level design that's 
cruel. Oh, 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 I should have had more speed going into that. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, we've made it. We've made it. The SpongeBob challenge is no more. No more shall I be spherical. I am once again rectangular prism with frilly edges and holes. <sighs> So in the first uh, episode, we were able to take out the first three levels, more or less, and then this time we're, uh, we're probably going to... I'm not even actually sure if we'll get to the end of this one. It's it's much longer. The levels start to, to get longer as you go on a fair bit, as they tend to in most video games. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I bet this one can get up that high, can't it? Yes, it can. There we go. There's another game... Uh, at least there, there are two, I think, other uh, SpongeBob games... That are like platformery types, um, like this, that are GameCube era, and uh, so Battle for Bikini Bottom, Creature from the Krusty Krab, are the two that come to my mind. And I've played Creature from the Krusty Krab and not played Battle for the Bikini Bottom, but I've heard it's pretty good. And they actually re-released that one on Steam recently, didn't they? I believe they did. I don't know why these like little Dr. Seussian looking Steam <laughs> spewers are here or what their purpose is, but. Gonna try and avoid getting steamed to death. It was. Alright, I'm gonna get that gone there. I probably should have done it a little closer to these ones, because there's a 50. Uh, oh, is that 50? I thought the pink ones were 50. Anyway, um... See if I can destroy it so that I can get from here to here. Oh, so close. I've not played those, but those would be good fun to play on the channel. Uh, I'm sorry, I've not, I've not played um, uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom uh, on the channel. It is 50. Why does the bottom look like it's at 50, uh, 20? Those will be very, very good fun to play on the channel anyway. Um, the one I have played and the one I haven't. Isn't there, there was a new one, I think I pre-ordered it, maybe. Spongebob and the Cosmic Shake or something like that, and I think it's... I didn't look closely, but I think it was supposed to be, ow! Something of the similar, a similar era to this. You know what's weird is some of those 10 pounder, or 10 experienced ones are blue and some of them are like turquoise. I never figured out why. It's cool anyway, cool colors. The Cosmic Shake, is that what it's called? Or something, isn't there also one about a mermaid's tear? Or is that is that the Cosmic Shake? I don't know. I love Spongebob, so I'm I'm definitely going to be going and playing those ones at some point. And hopefully on the channel. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Another side quest. Ooh, brilliant. I think we're getting near a part where I know of a fun bug that uh, you can... It's not really a useful exploit, but it's an interesting one in this place. Oh, yeah, and there's also another uh, GameCube Spongebob game known as Lights, Camera, Pants, which is a... It's like a Mario Party style deal. But it's, it's fun enough. So, I mean, but but much like Mario Party, it's like it's properly infuriating sometimes. There we go, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy has been completed. How many tokens is that now? We got like eleven. Blow a kiss to the crowd, SpongeBob. They need a hero right now. That's just ten. Bang! Ooh, the bungee challenge is now open to play. God, we've got so many. There's so many side missions in this level. I forgot about it. This is kind of how the, the format that, that a lot of the, the levels start to start to take uh, as you go on. Is there's just these massive hordes of of um. It's, it's like one main platforming challenge, but then there are a lot of little, like, side things you can do around it. They give you a lot of different ones, but you, you don't, like, um, you only really need to do a few to get the, the next skill in the next world, but they give you choices in case you don't like them, I guess. But we're going 100%, and I love them all anyway, so it doesn't matter for me. And you can bungee jump from with your underwear, so, you know, <laughs> in times like these, why would you not try to 100% everything? <laughs> that, you know what I gotta say? I don't remember the scene in the movie where he goes bungee jumping from his underwear. Trying to headbutt targets and pick up weights. Ow, oh god, I didn't even wasn't even near them. Steam. What kind of garbage is that? Eh. Oh god, they're going. Oh, oh, I'm about to get steamed to death. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta just time it right. Just hang on here. Cool. Everyone, calm down. Everyone, calm down. Right now. Go up, 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 up. Let me out. Oh, I'm not going for those the green ones. That's just a death waiting to happen. I actually wasn't sure we would be able to get to the end of 3,000 miles uh, today, but we're just blazing along. Look at this, we've got so many side because there's only like one left, isn't there? Oh, two. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to see if I can remember what they are. Oh, actually, no, this isn't the spot that I thought the exploit- uh, I thought this was where the exploit was, but... It is a different spot altogether. Oh, back to Fax Health, there we go. Hoop! Some of the, the the bouncies are like manual. You have manual control once you bounce from them, but some of them are more like uh, they, they send they like like auto send you in a direction. This all this did was bring the bouncy 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 thing up, right? Yes, we don't need that. Up, plankton. 
You can't possibly know I'm near this radio tower you're broadcasting to. I mean, you could just be broadcasting to all of them, but you can't know I'm near a radio tower, so just shut up, okay? <laughs> Good stuff. Well done, SpongeBob. Checkpoint! Boring. Yeah, what is it with all this, the vents of steam here? We're not even that deep in the ocean. What is this garbage? Uh, I want it. I want it so bad. Give it to me. <laughs> no. Give, give it. No, just let it go away. <laughs> These boxes here for? I feel like they were probably supposed to help me platform up to something, but uh, too late. Ooh, is that another teleporty challenge? I know what challenge that is. And that I. Th <laughs> Thanks, Bendy. You know what's weird is they have those checkpoints that pop out of the ground and go checkpoint, but they also have checkpoints just like every two seconds anyway. <laughs> like like I just demonstrated. Uh, oh, that was not the greatest combination of moves I've ever pulled in my life. Give me the hamburger. <laughs> floating block challenge. Oh, I love the floating block challenges. They're just like pure platforming sections and you get to play as Patrick for them. Which is probably the better choice because um, you for these sections... Oh my god, did we get another upgrade point? Oh, they're right, you're timed for these, I forgot. Let's go upgrade uh, SpongeBob's uh, Bash to the Super One. And if you're not familiar, wait, hang on. Power Bash. When upgraded, it allows SpongeBob's Macho Bash glove to stick to things. Press the Y button to detonate the glove. That's right, it's a sticky bomb now. <laughs> and it's a fun nod to, um, wait, what's the episode called? I'm your biggest fanatic, I think. Kevin the Seeky remembers like, punch yourself in the face. And he does it, and then he's like, didn't that hurt you? And he pulls out a spiky like metal one. He's like, did, did you want it to hurt? Punch yourself in the face. <laughs> Doesn't that hurt you? Do you want it to hurt me, Kevin? Fun references, fun references all around. I like that they make you play as Patrick for these, partially because it means you get to be, make creative use of his cartwheeling abilities for speed. Um, and but like, even though it lowers your, oh, lowers the the, the 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 your your steering ability. Um, but also because he can't do the little floaty thing that SpongeBob can do. So it's uh, it's much more of a real test of your platforming. Oh dear. Um. Can, you can cartwheel through the air though, right? And then jump out of that, I think. Kind of like Donkey Kong Country styles. Oh, that one's going away. But also these floating block challenges are just kind of weird and fun. <sighs> and like the, the there's like this weird floating block in the middle that, and it's like, what's the deal with that? And airplane food also. It's just got that weird like quasi liminal spaces feel this epi this uh, uh these these mission these floating block challenges. I also love that the the pad that you activate to teleport here is like it has a bunch of spongebob cubes like diced up already good the manliness has manly you're absolutely right that's a checkpoint now if you die your time does not reset so that is a problem and if you lose time then well bad things happen anyway <laughs> and you have to start the whole dang thing again but that won't be a problem with us i'm obviously going out of my way to get a whole bunch of um manliness that is around the corners and uh, obscure boxes here, which is maybe a waste of time, um, but I'm feeling a little confident, so let's do it. Why not? We've got time. We've got time. I'm pretty sure it's just at the end of that all that ice that this is going down. Ah, oh, I caught it anyway. It's good. Ooh, I don't like the ones that are perpetually moving. That's a real tricky and raw deal, but it's pretty forgiving about wh uh, at what angle you're allowed to jump. You can jump at something that's like tilting up at an 85 degree angle and still jump off it. Oh, yeah, and then that spinning box, you're suddenly inside of it for this bit. So dang trippy. As if it wasn't hard enough to depth perceive worth with the with these this translucent ice. Yep. Yep, there's just one more mainland to get. No, Patrick! Duh. Goodbye, Crow World. Thank you, Hans. Oh, it's all for the the best anyway, because I missed one. Yeah, you really don't want to ledge grab these things, because the amount of time it takes for him to get up from a ledge grab is enough for it to melt. <laughs> so that's no good bueno. Ah, we're still on an easy street. The world is our oyster. SpongeBob ocean jokes intended. <sighs> Floating block challenge complete. We're blazing through the desert, I tell you that much. How many more radio towers can there possibly be? Who listens to radio out here? Lloyd and the other one? I think I can make this jump from here? Oh, yes, I can. Uh, I guess this is where we haven't been because... Uh, we have Ow! Why would you burp on and vomit on me and make me slip around? Yeah, hit you right back out of you. I've got my upgraded ugh, projectile reflection, so <laughs> don't throw up on me again. In other words, projectile vomit in the most literal sense. Oh yeah, haven't shown you my the sticky bomb yet. We should do that. Oh dear. 
Ah, uh, it's a whole ass combat challenge down here. There's a pit of enemies. I better destroy these spawners. Ching! <laughs> there you go. And you can even combo them if you get them close together. Bang! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That explosive thing is absolutely wicked. Zero regrets about uh, taking the low health route. Now I know it just even for fun. I'll probably even if I upgrade all the 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 what the combat skills. I'll probably still just not upgrade my health um, after that point, which unfortunately will make the part the the point P in the star bounce around a bunch. But that'll be fine. This is one of those games where like the com <laughs> neither am I, which is why I'm playing the game of baseball with with projectile vomit. Bang! You out of here, and bang! You out of here. Oof, goodness me. What were they thinking with this nonsense? Shut up! <laughs> I don't listen to the radio. Oh yeah, actually there's something else. Oh right, 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 okay. I was wondering, why is there even a, a swatch thing here? Uh, a, a swatch, a switch thing here for, for to play as Patrick, but... I remember uh, what this is for, and I will show you right now. Right, did I just break that wall and then not go inside? I think I might have, or maybe it was already open and I just missed it. But there's a skill that I think you have to be Patrick to do it? Oh, maybe you don't. I don't know why I have in my head that to, to go to this place up here you needed to be Patrick. Is that a teleport box? Most useful. It, that, the other one was, in, was near the uh, bungee jump, wasn't it? I think so. The Patrick gets steamed task is now open to play. Oh, that's right. It's, it's the ice blocks. That's what it's about. And this is our new targeting hand. It's a big SpongeBob face. Aw, adorable. It's the cosmetic thing we unlocked. The, the other one is... Oh, I could have sworn we opened another one somewhere in this level. Oh, unless this is just this is just for within this area. Well, anyway. That's so dark. Not good. Why is this place called Patrick gets steamed? <laughs> Oh, I think it's right around here that there's, there's there's one of these... So you're not really supposed to jump down anywhere near all the spikes, obviously, but there's one of these rocks that looks spiky that you can actually stand on. Ah, it's this one! And if you turn the camera out of bounds now... Oh yeah, wait, hang on. Yeah, you can get this wacky through the world shot. And the, the flower clouds start like blurring all over the place and all kinds of weird stuff. Everything starts blurring all over the place, really. Yeah, oh, man. I love, when I first found this, I was like, "God, because you... <laughs> I thought it was like a once in a lifetime thing." But nope, it's just this wall's a little screwy, and makes weird visual effects happen. So cool. Eh. Let's see if I can actually get back from here. There we go. I'm glad I remember that. That was good fun. Oh man, the cartwheel is super useful as a mobility tool as well. <laughs> Patrick won't get steamed. He's doing an exceptional job of avoiding getting steamed. I'm not gonna be steamed! Oh, <laughs> so close to just instant death. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh, 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 wait, I, this isn't really good. Do these alternate, I guess? Oh, I guess they do. That's not bad then. Ow, 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 ow. That one went pretty fast. Ah, uh, it hot, 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 hot. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, why did I do that? Ow, go, 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 go. Oh, got the box open. And there's our token. Ah, which is perfect timing, in fact, because. We are now quite near to the end of this. Uh, that's, that's the last mission, right? Only one of three treasure chests. Man, I'm really slacking there. I'm gonna have to explore this place more later. Don't kill me, I only have one health! Duke. I remember where a lot of the chests are, but I certainly don't remember where all of them are. Man, we're certainly, I'm gonna have to definitely comb around this place after looking for treasure chests. I can't believe I only found one, that's ridiculous. Who do I think I am? Oh, can the treasure chests be inside this, like the challenges, like the SpongeBob and all that? I wonder. Anyway, we need SpongeBob for this. You're up, buddy. I love that it's just a porta potty that they <laughs> come out of. <laughs> Blank. There are a few instances where the bash is more useful, just to punch straight through something rather than to plant the bomb. But usually, having a remote bomb that comes out of your hand is useful. Let's see if I can get them all three at once. Hang on. It does blow up by itself after a minute, but. Ah, okay, I only got two of them. Whatever, it was cool looking. Bang! Hitting buttons, as everyone knows, blows up small reactor things that easily knock over radio towers, so this should save the locals. We're all covered in ash. Damn! 
So they're just like dead. <laughs> you laugh at SpongeBob and Patrick and you get freaking obliterated by a megaphone. Apparently. Wasn't the point of destroying the radio towers to save the people, the, the country bumpkins? SpongeBob! SpongeBob! Don't let you get your pride get wrapped in it. What? SpongeBob! SpongeBob. SpongeBob! He's not looking at me. He's staring at the beyond. He's looking at the token, though, so we should probably go get it. <laughs> Yay! Man, his pupils are absolutely huge right now. Anyway, that's the end of the, 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 the desert. rub a dub dub slip slide in the tub is a mission that will be we'll have an excellent time with next time. I found one last spot with those ugly plankton propaganda towers. Ah. Use whatever you can find to knock them down. Are we going to be killing more people <laughs> with them? <laughs> Whom you'd think were the target audience of being saved? Well, now this is sort of an interesting looking place, isn't it? It looks like you wouldn't possibly be able to jump through all this, doesn't it? The last on foot. Propaganda towers are here on the edge of the desert. Roger that. Oh, breathtakingly evil. These <laughs> form part of a slide through this area. I need you two to race down them and knock those towers over. We can do that. Sounds kind of hard. Don't worry, guys. Stay on the track, jump over obstacles, and hit any plankton signs you see along the way. Good luck. Got it. Next time. Ah, oh, very good. This game just gets better and better, doesn't it? Man, I'm really... I have no idea where to go to get these things. Three? I'm missing three in that place. I can't believe that. I'm, I'm ashamed. Save the money first. Save the money first. <laughs> Very good, we'll be doing some more of this game in not too long, I sure hope, because I, it's good fun. And you'll be able to see just how we're getting through that slide area. For now, this has been our our foray into the desert. The desert is totally hot and inhabitable, apparently. There's, the burgers just grow everywhere. Next video on the channel is going to be some more Kingdom Hearts, which I think we're going to be doing the rest of Atlantica, unless I've got my timeline mixed up about where we are in that now we're going to be doing as much of uh, Atlantica as we can next episode, which so far has been very cool and uh, appropriate considering <laughs> SpongeBob. Yeah, there are even mermaids in both. How about that? But that's all for now. So thank you so very much for coming around to this episode of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie get video game on GameCube, Nintendo. Hopefully, I'll see you around now. Let's gonna be out of here now. Peace. So I just go for melee hits after this. After she's done this attack. Unless I can tech her out of this. Yeah. Oh, and it doesn't tech. It just blocks it. Yeah, hit. Ow. Hit. Oh, come back here, you coward. Use the animus. Fool and blow hard. Wow. That's one. Oh, he's doing a spin again. Better just save my magic.